If you want to communicate with your players, you can add text. It can be used in many different ways. Adding instructions, showing score or health, etc. Text can be added to your game by using the text node. You can also display values in time. Simply change the type in the text node. Text nodes are 2D by default. The text can be placed in nine different positions, which you can change by selecting the correct align X and Y on the text node. This is most commonly used for showing a player's score. 3D text is useful because you can place it anywhere in your game world. To change the text to 3D, turn on the 3D text toggle on the text node. It is most commonly used to communicate with your players. There are two kinds of colors in Hype Hype, visual materials and UI colors. Visual materials are the colors of most objects in your game world. They can be changed directly in the object or from the visual materials menu. UI colors are used by nodes such as the text node, buttons, and UI, among others. They are a separate collection of colors from the visual materials and can't be applied to objects. There are two kinds of sounds, music or ambience, and sound effects. Music plays constantly in the background. It can range from a tune to ambience sounds like birds singing. You can only have one of these playing at a time, but you can set up some logic to change the music during the game. There are three ways to add music to your game. From the asset library under the music section, from the music button on the bottom toolbar, from the logic menu on the bottom toolbar. Every one of these methods will add a music node to your game. Sound effects are meant to be played once or more times, but not constantly. The Hype Hype Asset Library has sounds for most situations. Wow. If you can't find one that matches your needs, you can create your own. Simply go to Asset Creator on the bottom toolbar and select Record Audio. There are also two ways to add a sound effect to your game. From the Asset Library, under the Sound section, from the Logic menu on the bottom toolbar, these two methods will add a sound node to your game.